In a recent interview with The 19th, a non-profit progressive news outlet, Kamala Harris was asked a series of blunt questions about the responsibility she bears as the nation's first black vice president. What does it mean for black Americans to hear her speak truth about the racial disparities in deaths from COVID-19? And what role does Harris think she plays in helping black people overcome a hesitancy to vaccines and in dismantling decades of bias in the nation's healthcare system? Harris, to her credit, didn't miss a beat. When I took that oath on January 20, there were a whole lot of people standing on that stage with me, she said. And you may not have seen them, but they were in my heart, they were in my mind when I had my hand on the Bible and raised my hand to take that oath. And I feel the weight of the responsibility that comes with that. It's a sign of our progressive times just how unafraid black politicians are to openly talk about what they owe the black voters who put them in office. Just like it's a sign of our times that black politicians can't simply acknowledge that debt. They are expected to actually repay it by addressing the vast and immediate needs of black Americans. This is what has finally happened to Harris. Late last week, the Black to the Future Action Fund released its Black Mandate for the Biden-Harris administration, also known as the Build Back Bolder Plan, which is not to be confused with the administration's own Build Back Better Plan. Clever or confusing? You be the judge. Unlike political novice Ice Cube and his contract with Black America, this plan is being shepherded by the co-founder of the Black Lives Matter Global Network, Alicia Garza, a Californian who actually has some standing to speak to presidential administrations on behalf of black people. The plan's other prominent backers include the Reverend Al Sharpton, the Reverend William Barber II of the Poor People's Campaign, as well as several of the activists who helped flip Georgia blue in the last election, including Latasha Brown of Black Voters Matter, NSAU Fod of the New Georgia Project and Deborah Scott of Georgia Stand Up. Together, they held an online launch event for the Build Back Boulder plan on Friday. America has consistently failed to deliver on its promise to black communities, Garza said. But when we are focused, when we are organized, when we are determined, black America has been successful in delivering on our promise to not rest until freedom comes. We push the Biden-Harris campaign to victory, not for them, but for us because we can't wait any longer. We didn't elect them because we like them or, you know, because they're our friends," Brown added a few minutes later. This is about power. Admittedly, much of the plan reads like a Christmas wish list to Black Santa. Put cash directly into the hands of people, $2,000 a month until the economy recovers from the pandemic.